now that you did the front of the vehicle, you're going to come to the driver's side after you've opened the hood. I'm going to start with my hub oil seal. It's not cracked when or broken. Uh, all bolts are present. It's filled to the proper level. It's not leaking. I'm going to check my lug nuts. I see no rust or shiny metal to indicate looseness. My rim and my brake drum. They're not cracked when or broken. No illegal holes or unauthorized wells. Your metal valve stem and metal caps, not cracked when or broken. You'll check for... Um, You'll check the air pressure with a tire gauge or a rubber mallet daily. Okay, you're going to inspect your tires at this point. Check your outer, upper, inner wall of my tire. There's no ABC abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The tread depth can be no less than 4 30 seconds of an inch in the major grooves, and the front steer tires cannot be mismatched, recat, regroove, or retread. From this point, you're going to come inside. Okay, we're going to check our brake shield. It's going to be this here. I always notice your brake shield, you have a little hole right there. And uh, my brake shield is not cracked, bent, or broken. Properly mounted and secured to the vehicle. Through my peephole, I can view my brake shoes and lining, uh, which should be no less than a quarter inch of thickness. No oil or grease present, and they're not cracked, bent, or broken as well. We're going to come up to the air brake chamber and my slack adjuster right here. Air brake chamber is not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present and I hear no leaks. My air brake chamber hose, hoses are not cracked, dry rotted or broken. Uh, my clamps are tight and I hear no leaks. I'm gonna check my uh, slack adjuster, sits at a 90 degree angle and the brakes are applied. Not cracked, been or broken. And uh, all cotter pins are in place. Don't forget to mention as well, when you pull out on it, you're not going to get any more than one inch of play or one inch when you pull out on it. It's very important. Alright, from that point, you can go a couple different directions. One thing you got to remember is the examiner is there to listen to you. Don't forget, this is a simulation of real life, so therefore if you want to go in any direction you feel comfortable, that's going to be alright. Um, if you forget something, you're more than welcome to come back later on and pick it up. No one can tell you that morning if you take the truck out for your job for your job that you can't come back and check something, okay? So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go with the suspension. If you look back in this direction here, you're going to have your rear mount and shackle. I'm going to check my leaf spring mount. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. My leaf spring shackle sits at a 45 degree angle. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. Right here. My front mount's not cracked, bent, or broken. Um, all bolts are present. I'm going to check my leaf springs. <clears throat> my leaf springs are in line. None are missing. If more than one fourth are missing, it put the vehicle out of service. I'm going to check my U bolts and anchor plate. Not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. It's properly mounted secured to the vehicle. My leaf spring clamp, you should find those up around this area here. In this vehicle, I'm not seeing any. But if it was, you say it's not cracked, been or broken, all bolts are present. <clears throat> I'm going to check my um, shock goes over at this point. Still in the suspension. It's not cracked, been or broken, all bolts are present. And I see no leaks. I'm going to check my frame. Frame's not cracked, been or broken, no illegal holes, unauthorized welds. Okay, There's, that's the suspension, so we're going to move on to the steering system. I'm going to check my steering linkage. Okay, that's the whole system. That's not a part. That's the entire system. My steering shaft, not cracked, bent, or broken. Proper mount and secure to the vehicle. My universal joint, it's not cracked, bent, or broken. Properly lubricated with no obstructions. Steering gearbox, it's not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present, and I see no leaks. Steering gearbox hose. It's not cracked, dry rotted, or broken. The fittings are tight, and I don't see any leaks. All right. Our pitman arm be on the other side. You can see it down here on the bottom. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. Properly mounted, secured to the vehicle. At this point, I'm going to check my drag link, steering knuckle, and your steering arm. It's going to be right down there. Let's see if I can point to it right about here. Hook to your tie I'm rod. Check my drag link at this so time. My drag, my drag link, steering knuckle, and 
come right down here, you're going to see your steering arm, a little bit dark. And that's connected to your tie rod. So my drag link, steering arm, steering knuckle, and tie rod, none are cracked, been or broken, properly mounted security vehicle, no obstructions. I got my three castle mount and cotter keys, one here on the steering arm, Ste excuse me, steering knuckle, one on the steering arm and tie rod, and then of course one here on the pitman arm. Right. Let's see if I can get it for you. Yeah, right there on the pitman arm and the uh, drag link. Alright, they're all in place and they're all, excuse me, they're all present. Alright, from this point, we go into our engine bay. <clears throat> Depending on where you feel comfortable with, you want to get some type of order left to right. I'm going to go ahead and start with the alternator, it's right here. I'm going to check my alternator. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. My wiring's not burnt, cut, or frayed. And this is belt driven, obviously. And uh, the belt's not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. When I push in the center, no more than a quarter inch of play for Virginia, no more than three quarters for Maryland or DC. Okay? Your water pump. You can pretty much get by with just pointing inside the engine. Usually it's up in the block somewhere. Um, but it's not cracked, bent, or broken. Properly mounted and secured to the vehicle. Um, this is gear driven, and you don't see, see any leaks or any evidence of leaks. All right, you can go up to the top here. You got your air intake hose. The metal portion is not cracked, bent, or broken. The rubber is not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken, and my fittings are all tight. My coolant reservoir is not cracked, bent, or broken. Filled to the proper level. Through the sight glass, you can view the level. Or, if not equipped, you wait for your engine to cool, you can remove the cap on top and check the level that well. Or, excuse me, that way as well. Um, <clears throat> remember, do not remove the cap on your test. Um, that's a big no-no. And you want to go ahead and check the hoses as well. They're not cracked, dry rotted, or broken. The fittings are tight and you don't see any leaks. Um, and don't forget, you'd also refill your reservoir on top there where the... Uh, where you inspect the level if not equipped with a sight glass. Okay, from that point I'm gonna come back down to my power steering reservoir. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present and secured to the vehicle. Um, you would check the level on this daily right here at the dipstick. If you notice the level was low, you'd refill it here. Okay, remember on all your, all your reservoirs you want to give descriptors like you check the level daily. Um, if low, you refill here and obviously you don't see any leaks. Now your power steering hose, which technically you've already checked that on the uh, steering gearbox, but uh, go ahead and throw it in anyways. My uh, power steering hose is not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. Um, fittings are tight and you don't see any leaks. Now from this point I'm going to check my oil dipstick and the oil fill tube. Here's my dipstick here. If I were to remove, I'd wipe it clean, reinsert, pull it back out, check the level. If it's low, you're going to refill here. The tubes are not cracked, bent, or broken, and you don't see any evidence of leaks. It's not necessary to pull those out on your test. <clears throat> now, just as a backup or a fallback, one thing I always did, I'm going to go ahead and check all my belts at this time. None are cracked, dry rotted, or broken, and no more than a quarter inch of play when I push in the center or uh, three quarters for Maryland or DC. All right, now from this point, we're gonna move, <clears throat> excuse me, we're moving from the driver's side over to the passenger. Now remember, you have to check the function of your headlights, turn signals, your rear lights, all that good stuff. If you didn't check the function from the beginning, uh, once we finish up here on this side, we get it as we come back around. But make sure it's very important that you get your lights um, Combined, it's worth a good amount of points. Okay, now we've come to the driver side, or excuse me, passenger side. Um, you got your hub oil seal, lug nuts, rim. At the very beginning of your pre trip, your examiner is going to tell you to do a thorough inspection of the vehicle, touch point or grab each part. Um, you got to go down one complete side of the vehicle, and anything you touch on one side, or excuse me, anything you say on one side, you won't have to say on the other. So all you got to do is ask your examiner. <clears throat> Would you mind if I skip this since I've already said it correctly on the other side? 
And if you've already said it correctly, nine times out of ten, they'll let you go ahead and skip it. And remember, that's everything you already said on the other side. So we're going to go right up, right up above the frame. We got the air filter right here. It's not cracking or broken. All bolts are present. Properly mounted and secured to the vehicle. We got our air compressor right here. Now this has an internal governor, so keep that in mind. But my air compressor is not cracked, bent, or broken. All bolts are present. I don't hear any leaks. Um, my internal governor cuts in at 100, cuts out at 125. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. I don't hear any leaks in that as well. And all my fittings, the hoses are tight. My hoses are not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. And this is gear driven as well. Okay. You just have to take a look. A lot of the Cummins usually have a belt right here. You'll notice that it spins, and that's what's going to turn your accessory drive, which would go down through your air compressor and your fuel pump. This is set up a bit different on this Volvo, so this is going to be gear driven. No. Okay. <clears throat> Still on the passenger side here, we're going to go ahead and throw in our. Um, Coolant reservoir hoses and our radiator hoses. They're not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. Um, no leaks and all the fittings are tight. That's my upper radiator hose. Down below, you'll notice this here. This is going to be your uh, lower radiator hose on this truck. Now you just have to locate the radiator and see where the hoses run out of. And if you notice, one, this one here on the bottom runs right into the bottom of the radiator. Um, the rubber portion is not cracked, dry, right of the bro or broken. The metal is not cracked, bent, or broken. You don't see any evidence of leaks. All fittings are tight. All right, that's pretty much it on this side. We'll go ahead and move on down. We're still in the passenger. If you had a splash guard there, you go ahead and throw that in. That's just a quarter fender, so we're not going to mention that. No side marker light. All right, we're going to start with our mirrors, our view mirror and our spot mirror. We're going to go ahead and check our view mirror and our spot mirror bracket. It's not cracked or broken. All bolts are present. It's secured to the vehicle. The view mirror and spot mirror are clean and they're not cracked, chipped, or broken. See, I'm used to getting that side marker right there. Almost threw me off. Okay, we got a fuel tank on this side, so we're going to go ahead and check underneath of it for leaks. We don't see any leaks, no fuel leaks. I'm going to check my steps. It's not cracked, been or broken, no oil or grease present, no obstructions. On the little panel here, you have your fuel tank cap. If you were to remove it, you check to see that the rubber grommet or the rubber o-ring is present. And um, it's not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken, no evidence of leaks. You got your fuel tank wires and hoses. Hoses are not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. The fittings are tight and you don't see any leaks. My fuel tank straps. The rubber portion is not cracked or dry rotted. The metal is not cracked or bent. And um, there's no rust or shiny metal to indicate looseness. Okay, from this point, you can move on up. You got your side marker right here. Sand burn color, not cracked, chipped, or broken, clean, no condensation, and all screws are present. My side door handle, it's not sticking or binding. The door opens and closes properly. Once you open the door, you check your weather stripping, make sure it's not cracked or dry rotted. Check your window crank, make sure the window rolls up and down, uh, rolls up and down properly. And um, your inside door handle is not sticking or binding, as well as your inside door latch. Okay, and you wanna make sure you say things like, if I open and close my door, the hinges are not sticking or binding and the door closes flush. Alright, from that point we're going to move on down. My, um, excuse me, there you got the door, it's alright. I'm going to check my exhaust mount, exhaust mounting bracket, it's not cracked, bent or broken. That's going to be this piece here, not cracked, bent or broken. All screws and hardware are present. I'm going to check my exhaust. I see no black soot that would indicate um, any cracks or holes. And my clamps, I'm just going to get a better picture, which will be right here. 
My crack fin are broken, all bolts are present, and I secured the vehicle. Okay, now if you notice where we're at, we're back here with the fuel are the um, airlines and the cross member and the drive shaft and uh, universal joints are. Now it's up to you how you want to do this. A lot of people go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and then walk around. So I'll, I'll go ahead and get the drive shafts and universals. That's about as far as I go when I'm over here. So if you notice, we got more than one universal joint and drive shafts. So I always made a plural. I'm checking my drive shafts and universal joints. Throw an S on the end of it. It's not cracked but or broken. Properly lubricated with no obstructions. Remember, it's not a bad idea. Any moving parts on the trucks, Make sure you say no obstructions. Um, things like rope and things from the road can get tied up in there. It definitely doesn't hurt. All right. My cross member frames not cracked when they're broken. No illegal holes or unauthorized welds. Now, since we already checked the frame up front, it's not necessary to check the frame again back here. It's the same frame. Keep that in mind. Just your cross member or cross members and your uh, rear tractor frame. Okay. Now from this point I'm going to move back around to the other side. Now if you didn't check, your fun check the function of your lights, now is a very good time when you're closing down your hood to check the function. Excuse me. Thank you. You can shut it. Now if you notice now that we shut the hood, the headlights and turn signals are staring at us in the face. If you forgot to check your lights or the function of your lights in the beginning, now's a good time to pick those up. Now remember, you can ask the examiner to help you check the lights. You don't want to ask if, if you can. Tell them that you are going to check your lights. Would you mind to assist me? And they're going to stand out front and check the front and the rear lights, make sure that you know they're working properly. And just as a tip, Lights are usually worth about five points. Let the examiner walk to the front. You're going to check your headlights, high beams, left, right turn signal, and your four-way flashers. If the examiner just stands there, I've seen this happen before, don't get out of the truck. Say, sir, ma'am, would you mind walking around to the back? As they do that, leave the lights on so they can check the side. It goes without saying they're going to check your side markers as well. Once in the back, they're going to check your brake light, turn signals, four-way flashers, all that good stuff. All right. Now, with the exception of the battery box, everything on this side is exactly the same as what we just checked on the other side. So, Mr. and Mrs. Examiner, is it all right if we go ahead and skip this side since we, we said it correctly? Yes, you may. With the exception to the battery box here, all right, if you notice, underneath the panel here, you have your batteries. All are, all are present, filled to the proper level. None of the wires are burnt, cut, or frayed, and you'll check the charge of these batteries in the in-cab inspection, which should read between 12 and 14 volts. Excuse me, no excessive amount of corrosion around the post. I almost left that off. All right, oh, excuse me. We're going to move on down. <coughs> We're back to the other fuel tank, which remember you set in on the other side, so that's finished. We're going to get our steps right here in our catwalk. Even if not equipped with a catwalk, you still want to throw one in. All right, they're not cracked in or broken, no obstructions, no oil or grease present. Same for the catwalk, not cracked in or broken, no oil or grease present, no obstructions. My grab bar. It's not cracked and or broken. Prop and mount is secured to the vehicle. No missing hardware, no missing screws. My dummy glad hands. Not cracked and or broken. All bolts are present. Service light. Okay, it's clear in color. Not cracked, chipped, or broken. Clean, no condensation. Can't remember if I said all screws, but all screws are present. All right, from this point, we're going to go ahead and check our airlines and our electrical. I'm checking my air lines and my electrical lines. None of them are hanging, tangled, or dragging. My red emergency line and my blue service line are not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken, and I don't hear any leaks. Remember, you got compressed air flowing, so you, if there's a hole, you probably hear a leak. The green one here is my electrical line. It's not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. No metal braids exposed. You're going to check your pigtail. 
Okay, that's the end of your electrical line here. It's not cracking or broken. Properly mounted secure to the vehicle. Check my glad hands. If I were to remove them, I'd check to see that the rubber grommet is present and that it's not cracked, dry, rotted, or broken. These are properly connected. You don't hear any leaks from these as well. <clears throat> okay? Now from this point, it's up to you where you go. Normally you can go up to the header board, hit your lights up at the top. There's a few different directions, but we'll come back to you in just a few seconds.